and I'm sitting here. What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Digital Drea here and this is my camera collection video minus my Sony. That one's at home with me in New York. I'm currently at my mom's house but um I just that's like the only digital camera I have and I just felt like this is based mo mainly on vintage cameras so let's get into it the f we're gonna start off with the one that i recently got and this one my aunt mailed here from miami so shout out to her um that's something that like really makes me happy is that some of these were given to me by people that i love and it's awesome that they're able to my light just went out how rude Okay, I think the battery died, so we're just gonna have to deal with the lighting. I think that it's awesome that people find these cameras that they used to have, think of me, and then decide to give them to me. Um, so I've actually never had this one before. Gotta catch them all. This one is the business edition camera. So it gives you quick tips in the on the back of the camera it says first press red button halfway to charge flash um blah 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 and it actually says questions call and then it gives you a number i've never seen that on any camera before 600 business edition and then she just looks like this Please excuse my appearance, I've had a long day. I just caught a bus today and there was a lot of stress and stuff involved with that today. But be on the lookout because I will be posting a lot about my bus life and my journey to getting there as a Mexican American immigrant. So that's that. I have two cameras that look really similar. That's not it. Where did she go? Okay, I have, yeah, these two. Oh my god. Okay, so I already had one of these, and then my boyfriend's mom, when she was moving, gave me one of these. And I think it was, I don't know which one it was, but this one has like a little stain, no biggie. But these are the twins, I guess. Now that I'm looking at it, I think this one might be a little bit darker than this one. Am I bugging? I don't know. Yeah, it just has 600 film right where you're supposed to insert the film. And they have a strap. Okay, putting all the ones that are done over here. Since we started with the Polaroids, we're going to continue with the Polaroids. This one is the Polaroid One Step 600 with that iconic little rainbow right here. I like this one because the little hood is a little different. I like how it's like a little awning and this one's like round. So this is what they look like for comparison side by side. Also the silver outlining around Polaroid. It's a nice touch. This one is the Polaroid One Step, so comparison side by side. Wait, where's the flash on this one? Oh, see, like that's interesting. The flash for this one is like right next to the lens, and the flash for this one is above. Is this the? Oh, actually, they're different. I'm done. It's been a while. I've left all my cameras at my mom's house. Cause I'm in New York right now and I'm still not at like a stable place where I want to like lug around all these cameras for the long run okay so this is a Polaroid one step actually and this is the one step autofocus so this is autofocus and gold lettering right there okay learn something new <laughs> okay so that's and on those that's those wait, wait. oh yeah yeah it's like what am i doing i actually ordered this one kind of recently people like a few months ago and um 
this one is the one that talks so i was like yo i definitely have to get it because i don't have this one and i would love to have it to add it to my collection and unfortunately i haven't um bought any film to even test it out and take pictures with it which is really lame but like i've just left it here for production so i think i'm actually gonna choose to take this one with me to new york when i go back tomorrow morning so that i can shoot a youtube video for you guys and test out the talking one um i think she says like say cheese or some shit like that but that's gonna be fun i think i'll take her with me Oh no, stop! Like, Why did you see like the amount of like, cameras? It's really cool. So, Are this is the Spectra System Polaroid. I'm probably not saying these camera names correctly either, but to be honest, I didn't get the chance to look up all the specific details about all these cameras. So, if I do, I'll just like caption it out if future Andrea is um, going above and beyond for y'all, which I hope she does. I'm watching you um oh my god there's like a little gem stuck on here that's so funny we'll just keep it there yeah i haven't messed around with this one at all e uh, like at all either it says quintic lens 10 and 125 millimeter does this one take this one takes 600 film too right why am i asking you guys am i i'm the one showing you well um yeah, here she is. On the back, there's system controls here. There's, like, a music control, like, a stopwatch, AF, flash. I actually don't know. I don't know what these buttons do, guys. If we're being honest, this is what she looks like. I'm failing right now. Wait, isn't it? Tr How do you? F oh, okay. This one's. Sorry, I'm like. This has been a while since I've messed around with my cameras, but the, the action, not the action. The shutter button is up here, and it's kind of hard for me to press with my nails. Next. Next, we have the. This one has the button at the top over here to this one i can press a lot easier because it's not so sunken in this one have, i have no problem with pressing this one feels a lot more comfortable in the hands being this she's slim she's slim okay over here it has like buttons for distance i see you okay do it The flash pops out. If we can get it to pop out. Oh, there we go. So cool, right? Okay, this is the Polaroid Impulse. She's impulsive, honey. But um, we're going to go with this one next. This one has a place where you can connect the tripod, which is different. The shutter button looks like that. That's a, a little bit okay to press with it. This button right here says open close. So is that how you open those? It's not seeming to work for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, it worked. It popped up. I just had to press it harder. This is the Polaroid one. I haven't messed around with this one either. Oh my God, this one's like sturdy. Um, it's interesting because this one is like short like that. I gotta hurry up, my battery's gonna die. We have the movie camera 8mm brownie by Kodak. <clears throat> we have this one that I got from in New York from the guys on the street with the foldable tables that sell cameras and stuff. 
she's awesome accordion style uh kodak don't know the name of this and i saw this on the tables in manhattan on my way to work and then when i clocked out of work i it was like a little bit drizzly and there was this metal trash can like there is on every corner in new york and there was broken picture frames laying next to the, the trash can outside and there was also the super 8 camera that i was seeing before i went to work so i felt like it's meant for me i'd like picked it up so fast um it is scratched up completely beat up it weighs so much it's completely beat up but it's still cool to have for my collection i don't even care i like her and she does this thing so when you pull this lever right here so i think she works and i just need to figure out and make the time to film a movie with this but it's really loud. I was at an event one time and somebody was using a smaller version of that camera and it was like a speech and it was like a really intimate thing but then you just hear like this camera in the background going and it's just kind of outdated technology now that we think about it in that sense. I got the Polaroid 340 LAN camera here which is also like an accordion style camera. I also got the Polaroid 225. This one comes with a leather strap compared to this one that's just the same basic cord and i also have the land camera 420 baby i could not resist not getting this one i don't want to pull this out right now because my phone's about to die sorry but those guys do the girls gotta do i still gotta want to shoot this video we also have this diana f plus camera that i found at the thrift store in maryland and it doesn't come with a flash and a fi i filmed a youtube video shooting film with this actually and a lot of the pictures didn't come out because it was too dark and i can't find a flash sold separately online it's usually being sold with like the full kit with the camera so there's that this isn't i think genuinely vintage like the real diana f plus camera is like a really heavy a little bit bigger like metal camera from the 50s but i guess this is like a a remake or something like an old remake i'm gonna insert um a photo of the person that gave me this because i complimented his camera on the train one time and then i mentioned him how i had a polaroid camera collection video um not video oh my god polaroid camera collection and he said he had a camera to give me and then we met up and he had two in his hand asking me which one i wanted and he never hit me up again never like hit on me or anything it was like literally a random act of kindness and i feel like that happens in new york and that's what makes new york so magical and i felt like that was like really awesome because who does that like that's such an amazing situation and I ended up choosing this one because I have always wanted a camera with like a big flash. <clears throat> and we're nearing the end now. I have this Canon film camera that doesn't work anymore because I dropped it one time and a piece of metal from the battery lid fell out. But it shot really great pictures, I think. And I also have this Vivitar film camera that I used in high school when I was in photography class. I really had a lot of time in the dark room during that time. This is my first Fuji film camera that has been through Warped Tour 2013 or something like that. It's literally being held together by tape and it's completely beat up. I have like a really cute little angel charm hanging here, but I did replace her and got this one. I couldn't resist because purple is my favorite color. You already know and this is a limited edition and obviously i had an excuse because this one was falling apart so i just got the same model and now i have this one right now i have like this really cool metallic blue to purple um frame film inside so i'm really happy the strap has like white polka dots on it so this is what i'm currently shooting fuji film with and i think that is the end thank you so much guys for joining me and thank you for bearing with my appearance today i just really wanted to film this video and get it out of the way and this is what you got thanks anyway <laughs>